Hello my guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Scarlet Witch Angel here, and today I am going to be un... I'm going to be un... un wanting. I'm going to be opening my Ipsy Glam Bag for April. By the way, don't mind the glasses. These are not my actual glasses. I do actually have a pair of glasses, but these are um, blue light blocking because I've been doing some work with resin, so don't mind these. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I'm going to be opening my April Ipsy Glam Bag today, so let's get into this. Ooh, didn't see that. Um, so, first off, this bag is cloth. It's, it's not like that, um, it's not like the wool bag, wool-ish wool looking bag that I got uh, with the December bag, um, it, this is very much fabric. This is, I think this is denim. This feels denim-y. Um, yeah, this feels kind of denim-y to me, so that, that's actually kind of nice. All right, and let's pull out the little card thing to help tell me what I'm working with. Ah. Alrighty, so first things right off the bat. Whoops, I'll mess with the lid. First thing right off the bat is this. This is the Bo Gushies uh, Concealer Perfecting Brush. Um, this is actually a really interesting brush. If it's very soft, all of the concealer brushes that I've used before and I've used very few, have never felt this soft, so I'm wondering how... I'm wondering how this is going to work with concealer. I'm definitely interested in how this is going to work. It's... that's... it's a really... it's a big brush. It's a heavy-duty looking brush, too. Um, oh, and that's cute. I guess that's the uh, Bo Gutch... Bo uh symbol. Um, it's actually kind of cute. I'm really interested in using this. This is going to be my first time using this kind of concealer brush. I mean, I've used concealer brushes before, but this is definitely... This is a different style than I'm used to, so I'm interested in seeing how this is going to work. Um, my next one. What is this? The Nomad. Oh, okay. So this is uh, Nomad Co uh, Cosmetics no Nomad Tuscany Intense Eyeshadow in Aperavito. That's cute. It's a nice little packaging there. That's adorable. Ooh, and that's actually a really pretty color. It looks almost... It, it reminds me of the uh, Mayel eyeshadow that I got earlier. It's about the same color, but it's really pretty. I like that. It's a really pretty color. I'm definitely interested in seeing what this is going to look... What this look... Actually, um... Have the mail. Don't mind that. The mail here. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. So yeah, here's the mail from a couple months ago. Okay, so down here is the mail. Up here is the Nomad. The Nomad is definitely a little bit lighter, so I do like that, and I love seeing what they look like side by side. Let's blend them. Oh, that's really pretty together. That's definitely a nice look. Don't mind the little dings in the background. My phone's going insane for some reason. <laughs> you would think with me watching all these YouTubers I do, I would learn to turn my phone off. Whoops. <laughs> Anyway, so I definitely like how this looks, and I cannot wait to use this. This is really pretty. 
my next one is it's another one from Grace and Stella. You guys remember how I loved their uh, lotion a few months back. So um, this is another one from Grace and Stella. It's their Dead Sea Mud Mask. Um, so I'm definitely excited to see how this mud mask works. Um, I'm sure it's probably going to be a lot like all of the other mud masks I've used, but or other masks that I've used. But, um, I'm definitely, definitely excited to use this. Cause I, cause just, cause just from the lotion alone, I'm already liking Grace and Stella. So I'm, I, I'm intrigued and excited to see how this works out. So yay. Um, my next one is... And we're going, to, we're seeing another product from Tatcha again. It's the Tatcha Water Cream. Um, it looks like this is, okay, so this is actually for oily skin, which is really good considering that I am combo oily. Um, it looks like, oh, okay, you're, ah, there we go. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be a face cream, which is really, which is going to be really nice. And it, like it, like I said, this does, it is, yeah, pore perfecting Japanese wild rose for normal to oily skin. So I, since I have combo oily, this is going to be nice to use. And it says that I could even put it into the fridge, which is going to be really nice because you know, I get a little warm and it says that it'll help with a cool, refreshing feeling and it'll help with puffiness. So I'm, cause I liked the other Tatcha product, the, what was it? It was a face wash, I think it was. So I'm excited to see what this is like. Um, and then the last one is, uh, the Glow on filth, fit, glow on filth, bleh, sorry, glow on, so much knocking over, I am so sorry, oh my gosh, is the glow on fifth smooth as silk hand and body scrub, um, I'm, and say, so, flaky who, uh, scrub away and buff at rough Patches uses green tea extract and shea butter. Ooh. And it's one of those where it's like, I know my skin is really weird. It's not so much flaky, but it is, but it is definitely, um, I know my skin isn't flaky, but I mean, it's definitely weird. Um, so that being said, this is definitely going to be uh, a nice thing for me to try and figure out how to use. And then also um, with another thing with the flaky skin, I think it some of, I think I might have some like hand flaky skin because of having to wash and sanitize my hands so much while I'm at work. So I'm definitely interested in seeing how this is going to. Um, and seeing how this is going to work. So definitely I am very interested in what this month's products are going to be like. Um, so I'm excited and I will definitely let you know what they are like once I have tried them. Um, so thank you so incredibly much for watching. Um, if you want to uh, like, I don't expect you to subscribe because I know my videos aren't great. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching and I will see y'all next time. Later!